So I am here. I made it to Brussels. I did not vlog my travel at all, but sorry. Um, it's the last meet of the year. So yeah, I guess I could give you guys a tour of the room, but as usual, now the struggle is to stay awake. All right, so here's the room from the front door. Twin beds. My roommate gets here tomorrow. Um, the beds are kind of close to each other, but because we have these things, it would make it a little difficult to move, so I'm not gonna do any musical furniture, but chair in the corner, desk, fridge, refreshments. She has a closet as well. And then the bathroom. Um, yeah. Look who it is. Y'all miss me? So you saw the post that said it. I feel the costumes on people love it. Come back, come back. Yeah. Yeah. Do they love yeah. me on the same? They do love you. They ask about you all the time. That's all you're going to say? Well, yeah, I have a lot to say, but I'm a little tired. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I'm not. I'm how do you look at a man that you find attractive? I think. I hope not like that. <laughs> I think if honestly, if I find you attractive, um, I turn into like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I do. I don't know, but see the texting back thing, that's not necessarily true for me because I also don't like to be the bad guy. What do you mean? Like, I'd rather you dump me than me dump you. Oh, I don't care. So do you start doing things that you don't? Whoa, do tell. Like what? What do you do? It's sabotage your own relationship. Yeah. Sabotage. Yeah. Like what? Like what? travel with a towel. Unfortunately, I'm not. So I'm towel. being recorded by the IAAF today. So, so I'm recording them. Yeah, of course. Ash should be recording me. Ashley always has to get in the shot. Yeah. I'm Morley K is, is right here. She's just putting up with our shenanigans. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I'm going to lay on the floor or not. Okay, I'm going to cut the camera off now so that Coach Bailey doesn't see But we're about to run into Zara. <laughs> Zara, <laughs> Zara is my absolute favorite store. It used to be BCBG, but we're not going to talk about that. Now it's Zara. Did I just get followed into Zara for an autograph? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh no, they coming for you too. <laughs> that just happened. Walking the Zara minding my business. Can I get an autograph? Like, we don't get this kind of love at home. Like, I just want to shop in peace. Is that too much to ask? So this is what we do when we come to track meets. It's like 20% running, 50% shopping. That ain't even right. Like, I honestly feel like it might be less than 20% right now. You think, think so? About, like, think about this. We're here, we got here yesterday, mm -hmm. Tuesday, and we leave on Saturday. It's five days, right? And the total amount of time, that's really cute, that we're going to spend, like, actually running six, seven hours? Yep. Okay. You run for 11 seconds, Tasha runs for 49 seconds, I run for 53. That's it. That's it. Yes. That's it. Yes. I do. Let the breeze catch it. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. You better do it with this. Sorry, I'm not so, I'm supposed to dislike the next thing you put on, yeah. so I don't like it. But that ain't this this outfit ain't the outfit you dislike. She said I told her I was gonna dislike the next thing she wore. No, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. What was a no? This 
Oh, and the shoes. And the shoes. Yeah, don't forget the shoes. All of it. I definitely came in here with more than six pieces, but I want to know I'm not stealing nothing. All of it. Okay. So we can't. We're waiting for this total to pop up. Yeah. This is Morla K's total so far. Oh my God, that's what yours was. Yeah. Like four things. It was the. It was the jacket. The jacket was. We ain't even done. Damn. Marla K's total, 122.80. Tasha is currently at one. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so as usual, I spent way too much money in Zara. There it is right there. We're going to, to get waffles now. I didn't know that Marla K and Ashley have not been to this meet before, so. Time to get waffles, real waffles. Hello. Damn, I want that one. What's on that? I don't want the. It don't matter. Can I get this one right here? This one? Yeah. Thanks, I'm press. Rebecca's about to interview me for this is for the IAAF, right? So. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna talk about though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so back to when you were a kid. Um, I read a text where you um, wrote about your prom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how was that? Can you please share that? It was interesting. Well, <laughs> that sounds like my prom was horrible. I had an amazing prom, but I think when people look at me, the thing that surprises people is that I didn't have a date for prom. I wasn't like a social butterfly or um, I wasn't very popular. Kids knew me, but they knew me because I ran track and you know, of course it was all over the school what I was doing on the track, but I wasn't like, I was a little bit socially awkward to be honest. So um, I had friends though, that's not to say like I was an outcast, but I went to prom by myself. I went in the limo by myself. <laughs> Um, and I wore this big yellow dress. And I think a lot of people were surprised to see me at that point too because I wasn't very girly girly and of course I was the athlete. So um, when they saw me in this big yellow dress, it was kind of like, oh wow. I remember even trying on the dress and I was like, oh my God, this is so pretty. I'd never seen myself that way before. But I went. So it is pre-meet day. Um, yeah, we didn't just get to the track. We've been here for probably like 30 minutes now. More like, Yeah. Hi. How you feeling? I feel good today. Feel good? Ashley, how you feeling? Oh, bug just flew right in my, like, okay. Okay. How, how you feeling? I feel fantastic. Do you? You excited for tomorrow? I am. Many of your people know a country Amsterdam is. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of them know don't know where Amsterdam is. I'm sure a lot of them don't know where Amsterdam is. <laughs> Unless they live in Europe. Okay, so Morla K has been going around asking people what country is Singapore and Amsterdam in. Of course, your girl knew the answer. I wonder if y'all know. <laughs> Leave your answers down below. Yes, they're gonna look it up. <laughs> don't look it up. Did I, dang, did y'all hear that echo? Yeah. Don't, don't look it up. up. Oh. But yeah, legit, legit. Do you know where Singapore, or what countries Singapore and Amsterdam are in? Hell no. Did Ashley know? Hell no. <laughs> I knew though. South Carolina My Honors degree. College. <laughs> where did you guys get your education? I knew. Um, UT, <laughs> name. Yeah, Horizon. but you, but you but didn't I know knew. those countries. My orange are set. <laughs> <laughs> So that is the great Jenny Simpson and her coach. Coach, what's your name? Coach Wetmore. Coach Wetmore, really? There's an agent with that. Name. Yeah, my agent, so that's why I was like, yeah, huh? Right. <laughs> I say, in this business, there's two Mark Wetmores. There's 
rich, handsome, smart Mark Wetmore. Oh. I'm the other one. Oh, stop. So, I saw Coach Wetmore marking off some what looked like short distances, but I knew that he was Jenny's coach, so I was like, who are those marks for? And he said they're for Jenny. So Jenny was doing some speed work of what I just caught the last of, and he said that is for her kick, right? She's gotta be able to have speed at the end of the race, so now you understand why she's got that hella kick, that crazy kick. But yeah, I thought I was really intrigued by that because I was like, most distance runners, their speed work is like 200s, 400s. She does raw speed. Ashley, do you know who Total is? Total? Mm-hmm. Marla Kay? No. Is that a Do you know who Total is? Dalila, do you know who Total is? Yeah. It's my cousin. And you're from New York? <laughs> California. For nine years. No, 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 no. But you grew up in oh, New York. Grew, like yes. Yeah. See, I got it right. <laughs> I got it right. No, when I asked you if you knew who they were, you said you I don't know. For a trick question. I know who Total is. Morla K don't know, though. Can you, you tell me? Can you tell me what they sing? I've definitely heard it before, but if you other if, if you played this song and said who sings this, I'd be like, I don't know. Evidence that I am Auntie Tasha. Say bye, y'all. I'm about to end. I look like a 12 year old with no makeup. You ready for the picture? I'm glad I got that on camera. Okay. Can you save can your live you like, streams? Yeah, they automatically oh. save. We're all, oh, so we, we just gonna be in real life now, Rogers, when you take the picture. We he's are like, the he's focus, a, he's however, you have to get the Brussels 2017 in there. All right, girl, let me go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Who else do I don't know? <laughs> I don't know. The leg up right here, you know what I'm saying, bend it up. Ooh wee. Well, how you take pictures? Oh, never mind. I'm ready, I'm ready now, I'm ready. Oh, that was a good picture too, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> so we came out, came back out to the streets of Brussels. We're looking for food now. How come you not feel, oh! She just started filming. I just, I literally picked up the camera and was like, I should have been fl filming all of this. This is city center. Well, not quite. We didn't really walk all the way down to the actual city center, but. Okay. Oh, oh, but when it happened to me earlier, they laughed. I think I did. I think it is on camera. So we're leaving dinner. It's raining. I just felt a raindrop on my eyebrow. I still haven't ran yet. Y'all still have Oh my God. Yeah, we just left dinner. We couldn't record dinner because the conversations were not um, appropriate for the internet. <laughs> no, that sounds like we were talking about like some porno stuff. Like, um, the conversation was none of y'all's. Yeah, it was nobody's business. It wasn't our business either, to be quite honest. <laughs> but <laughs> we couldn't put that on the vlog. So we all had steak. French fries and water. It was really, really good. Low side salad, you know, get the greens in, get the hey, veggies in. It might in. not rain tomorrow. It was close to rain today. We might be okay. It's gonna be cold, y'all. It's gonna it be is cold. gonna be cold. But it might so that is a wrap on the 2017 season. I didn't really vlog, I didn't vlog at all today. And I don't even really remember what's on this vlog period for this trip but <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to put together whatever I have for you guys. Um, yeah, so, oh, let me talk about my race. So I ran 50.98 and I got fourth. Um, certainly not, not excited, but I'm not disappointed. I'm kind of like in between. I was in lane nine, which, I mean, 400 is 400, whether you're in lane one or nine, but I did kind of feel blind out there, but um, I did feel like I executed my race 
as best I could. Um, I felt like I got out really good. I felt like I relaxed down the back stretch. Um, even coming home, I was like, I felt really strong. Um, perhaps um, I think where I might have let off, or not let off, but I didn't really see anyone until we came off the final bend. And so at that point, it's like trying to play catch up in there. If you know track, which you guys know track, um, you don't really see how far ahead people are until you actually come off the turn and it evens out at that 300. So at that point, you know, <laughs> and then honestly, I crossed the line and I really thought I was in third. And um, Okolo was in maybe three or four. So I literally did not see her. She ran 91, I believe. So um, yeah, I was out there blind. <laughs> But um, I do wish in hindsight that I had one more race before this one. I think um, even if it was a 200, I think um, having a warm up race before this one would have been good. But you know, it happens, can't change it. Um, looking back on my season overall, I am not overly disappointed besides not making it in the individual 400, which then of course, you know, <laughs> is a hard one in itself you know when I look back on my season as a whole I really only ran like on average and I have to go back and um like really look at this but I think um Jamaica was the only race that I ran um 51 like the rest of my races were solid 50 points and I mean this one 50 98 is like really high it's close to 51 but it's 50 point so um excuse me on a season as a whole I'm like you know what it wasn't horrible it certainly wasn't great but it wasn't horrible so I'm definitely um, not beating myself up as I always say um, I'm grateful anytime I have a lane on the track um, even thinking about tonight maybe four or five years ago if I'd have went out there and saw that I was in lane nine, I'd have been freaking out over that lane nine and just threw my whole race away because I was in lane nine. So I'm proud of my maturity level <laughs> at this point and just going out there and doing the best that I could. I literally went out there and ran the best that I could. Um, but like I said, I do wish that I just had one more race, but you know, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to my vacation because this year was, it was, I don't want to say it was a long year, but um, coming off of the Olympic year, and I mean, that was another great year for me too. Um, and then coming back this year and trying to have another great year on top of such a great year last year, it was a lot. Um, it was a lot physically, it was a lot mentally. Something that people don't talk about or, um, you know, even I saw comments about the races in London and how slow they were. Um, you guys have to understand that all of these races year after year do um, add up on our body and our bodies, excuse me, and, um, even when our coaches are designing our plan, our um, training plans, our workout plans, it's season by season, as well as building bricks for the next year. So, um, you know, I remember, I think it was 2013, I had an awesome, really awesome year. And then 2014, we came back to training and I was like, coach, like, what's going on? I feel like we're not doing what we did last year. And, and he pretty much told me, he's like, you know, I understand where you're coming from with you know wanting training to be a certain thing you're a competitor you want to go out and do X Y and Z but I want you to remember what you did last year and that doesn't untrain all the way and then I want you to remember what 2015 and 2016 are and I have to keep all of that in mind when I'm designing you guys programs so I was like So, um, so yeah, I have to keep all of that in mind and 
it, it's it's hard though because as a competitor when I get on the track I want to win every time I want to PB every time but I, what I always say remember the journey um, keep the main thing the main thing and above all have a great time and I can honestly say that I'm truly enjoying my career I'm enjoying um, you know the space that I'm in in terms of um, the level that I'm competing at this year was marked my 10th year on the senior circuit and I'm running a lot better now than I was 10 years ago so um, you know I always say celebrate the small victory so even though I'm slightly disappointed right now I see that there is not only room for improvement but there is room for a little bit of celebration in terms of how far I've come and how well I'm still competing. Um, so I'm rambling now. I'm going to take a shower and go have dinner. Maybe I'll vlog some at dinner since I like totally dropped the ball with this vlogging thing. Um, today at least, like I got none of the track meet, but sorry, I was, I was focused. Told you guys, athlete first here. Um, I do also want to drop this that Maybe over the next week or so, the vlog may be a little bit light. And I know that there were a couple of weeks where I know like this week or last week by the time this goes up, I only posted one video. And then, um, you know, during the world championships and stuff and weeks prior, there were a couple of weeks where I only posted one video. My intention is to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I have a couple of things on the, the deck that I just need to edit and get up, but I also need a break. <laughs> so um, I probably won't be posting as much for maybe a week or so. There might be one week where there's just absolutely nothing, but I'm doing my best to put some content together. Um, now that I am moving into the off season, obviously the content is going to be a little bit different. I see you guys' requests for certain videos, so I'm going to try to get those out to you. But I have six weeks off from training, and I do kind of need a break. So I'm going to do my best to not stay away for too long. But I don't want to make you guys any um, unrealistic promises in terms of I'm going to be posting every day or I'm going to be posting. Auntie needs a break. <laughs> so, um, and I may even find myself like, because I have some, even though it's my off season, I have some really cool things coming up too. I'm, I have a photo shoot. Um, I'm going to be spending some time out in LA, bouncing around, doing a couple things there. So I have some cool things coming up that um, I'm, I plan on vlogging and I plan on, um, you know, sharing with you guys. But there are also going to be some days where I do absolutely nothing and really cherish the time that I have off from training. Because we all know once I get back into training and next year the intensity is a little bit different because it is an off year in the sense of um, it's not a outdoor world championship or olympic year but we do have the world indoors so we do i do have to be i'm gonna go ahead and put this out there now <laughs> i am gonna go ahead and um get ready for the world indoors give that a stab so i'm gonna have to be ready a little bit sooner than i've had to be ready in past years so you know just planning all of that out for you guys but i hope you miss me and i hope that I hope that I don't take like I won't I won't I promise I won't do any more than a week and even maybe that week it might be like last week where I just post one video but um yeah sorry not sorry but sorry <laughs> I'm sure you guys understand but I'm gonna stop rambling now I'm gonna take a shower go to dinner and then um yeah maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of um dinner and the after party and all of that stuff yes she is going to the party tonight i'm not having a pity party tonight no 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 not she i'm gonna have a glass of wine and everything <laughs> i said i'm gonna stop rambling okay bye this is the season is over table I got fries and ketchup. <laughs> well aries is making one more stop 
you making another stop too, but. It doesn't count. <laughs> so we all got french fries. I'm about to um, go back and get some um, meatballs myself. I stopped at the bar on my way down here and got me a glass of red wine. So I'm about to steal somebody else's. 